Welcome back everyone to another video. My name is Fabio and today I thought it would be a good idea to look at clipping masks in Sketchbook Pro. So if you're coming from Photoshop, they have a cool feature called the clipping mask, which helps you not color out of the lines and things like that. Sketchbook, unfortunately, doesn't technically have a clipping mask, but there's something you can do to kind of work around that. For today, I was thinking we could shade in like a circle and we can use our clipping mask to help us do that. And bonus thing, if you want to make a perfect circle, you can use the shape tool or I like to use the ellipse tool. You can drag these sides in and make your circle like this. Now we have our solid color on our first layer. Normally, when I paint, see how it paints outside of the circle as well? What I can do is press this little lock button. It locks the transparency, so now, see how I can't paint out of the lines? It kind of gives me a clippy mask that way. But usually, we don't want to work on the same layer as our color. Say I want to edit my shadows or something like that, or I mess up, then I lose everything. So sketchbook, you kind of need to be a little bit uh, creative with how you do this. So what you can do is duplicate our original layer, and I'll lock the layer above. So now they're both locked. So now on the layer above, I can go in and paint my shadows separately. So now we have our color on one layer, on the bottom layer, and our shadows on the top layer. So let's say we wanted to add some light to this ball. We can't really do it on our shadow layer, because then if we want to edit our shadows separately, we can't. So let's bring our color layer, let's duplicate it again, and bring it to the top. But see, see how it, it covers everything? So that's kind of not what I want. So let's grab our eraser and try and erase. What's this? Basically it's saying you can't erase when your transparency is locked because the eraser affects the transparency so it wouldn't change. So what we got to do is unlock our top layer and you can erase just where the shadow is. So now that's gone and we can relock it. Now let's grab like a, a brighter color and add our light. So that's that's it guys. That's all I have for clippy masks. They're a little bit limited, but if you're if you be a little creative with how you use them, you can get some pretty nice effects. So get out there, experiment, have some fun. That's what this is all about, right? And uh, I'll see everyone in the next video. Thanks for watching.